Hello YouTube, I'm at Video Productions and welcome back to another video. Today I am going to show you guys how to save battery on your iPhones. If you have an iPhone yourself and if you're watching this video, you probably know it is actually extremely hard to save battery on your iPhone, especially after you've used it quite a bit. This is an iPhone 6S Plus, so the battery is starting to wear out on it a little bit. Of course, iPhone batteries do actually start to wear out after a little while. So you have a couple of options, you can either buy a new iPhone, try and replace the battery on the iPhone, which is a tricky process, or you can use these five tips to actually help yourself save a lot of battery on your iPhone. Now these are proven tips that I have used in the past to help save battery on my iPhone, and I no longer have any problems saving battery. I use my phone almost all day, and I'm about at half battery right now. Of course, don't expect it to be like it was when it was brand new, but it is certainly, and I guarantee this, going to be better. The first and most obvious tip I have for you guys today is to, believe it or not, update your phone. You have options like Battery Saver in the new updates. If you turn this on, obviously it's going to help you guys save battery on your iPhone in general. It's not going to do a whole lot, but it will certainly help, and it is something that I think you should have on at all times. Another very obvious step is to lower your brightness very low. I mean, I have it about at half usually, but I'm going to keep this one up. Uh, for now, just so you guys can actually see my iPhone. But yeah, guys, keep your brightness low on your iPhone. It definitely helps out. Another thing you can do is keep your speakers off. Use headphones. Because believe it or not, guys, it actually uses quite a bit of power uh, to actually power that speaker. So keep the speaker off. Keep Bluetooth off as well. And when you can, keep it in airplane mode because then it's not looking for Wi-Fi signals or trying to connect to Wi-Fi signals or an AT&T signal. Again, all of those things actually help out quite a bit. You can also turn on Do Not Disturb. Keeps notifications away. And this actually actually locks it in portrait orientation. So it's not using the gyroscope inside to detect, you know, what, what it's turned at. Also, again, make sure apps are shut off. And those are all just a couple of tips that you can use. Let's get into some of the more advanced tips. I'd also like to mention one of the benefits of doing all this stuff to your iPhone is it will actually run faster too because it's doing less processes and using less battery. First thing you're going to do is go into your settings. You can actually go into the battery option and it loads your battery usage. Basically, it shows either in the last 24 hours or 7 days what's been using your battery. As you guys can clearly see here, Snapchat is my number one battery usage as of recent, and it is background activity. So if I wanted to shut this off, which I actually don't because I use Snapchat quite a bit, I would go and either delete Snapchat if I really don't like it that much, or I can turn off the background notifications, and as you can see, it's two hours of battery life just gone just from background usage so I'd shut background usage off for that app we have Spotify with airplay airplay will use it as well so try to stay away from airplay and then we just got like mail and stuff down here that is just background activity you can shut that off if you want my battery is already saved enough that I don't really care about turning Snapchat off, but let's just say I did want to turn background activity off for Snapchat. You'd go all the way down, scroll through, down to your apps, find Snapchat. You would go down to background app refresh and either turn it on or off. Of course, I don't want to do that, but that is just an option for you guys. If you want to save even more battery life, there's apps to avoid like the camera or any camera related apps you want to try to avoid because those use up the most battery I found. And also speaker apps as well. So, you know, try your best to stay away from those. I know a lot of you probably use Snapchat though. So I would just have Snapchat as the only really big app that you use and you will end up saving tons of battery life. Trust me on this, I save tons. Anyways, guys, those are the tips I have for you today. If you liked the video, please leave it a big fat like and a comment. Please tell me if this is helping. I love helping you guys out with tips like this. I'm at View Productions. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe. See you next time and goodbye.